Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Normal view is the default view in PowerPoint. You can select this view by clicking the Normal button that appears in the Presentation Views button group within the status bar. Alternately, you could click the Normal button that appears in the Presentation Views group on the View tab within the ribbon. In this view, you can see many different views of your presentation simultaneously. There are four different panes of information that you can use to make changes to your presentation's content. The middle pane shows the slide in the slide view. You can change the objects directly on the slide within this view. Here is where you will probably make most of your changes in the PowerPoint application. Below that pane is a place for you to type speaker notes for the slide. These will also appear in the Notes page view. At the right side of the slide, below the vertical scroll bar, are the Next Slide and Previous Slide buttons. You can click these buttons to move up and down through the slides in your presentation. In Normal view, you can enable the display of a ruler and grid lines for your slides in order to assist you in placing and aligning content within the slide. You can check the Ruler and Grid Lines checkboxes that appear in the Show group on the View tab within the ribbon to enable their display. You can also click the checkboxes again to clear the check from the box and disable their display as well. The pane at the left side of the screen has two tabs in it, Slides and Outline. You can click on the two tabs to show the contents of the slides in the presentation in the Slides view or in the Outline view. You can make any modifications that you would like in those views. If you click the X in the upper right corner of this pane, it will close. You can restore the pane by clicking the Normal button once again in either the ribbon or the status bar. Also note that you can click and drag on the window split that's shown between the slide window and the pane at the left in order to change the amount of room available to each. You can also perform the same task with the window split that's shown at the bottom of the window in normal view. You can click the Outline tab that appears in the pane at the left side of the Normal view to view the presentation's content in an outline. This allows you to concentrate on the flow of ideas in your presentation. Just as in an outline for a term paper, you can organize your headings, subheadings, and organizational points. This also allows for more consistent formatting amongst your topic classes and groupings. Note that you can also edit and format text content in this view just as you can in the actual slide. For upgrading users, note that there is no contextual tab in the ribbon for the older commands that used to be available in the old outline view. If you wish to see the available commands for a text selection in the outline pane, just right-click the selected text and then choose your desired command from the pop-up menu that appears. For upgrading users, note that you no longer can create summary slides in the outline view in PowerPoint 2010-2011. You must create your own Table of Contents slide by copying and pasting the slide titles individually into a text box placeholder if you wish to include a summary slide. You can click the Slides tab that appears in the pane at the left side of the normal view to view each slide as an individual image. You cannot edit the content of the slides in this pane. It is used to navigate through your presentation. You can scroll up and down through the listing of slides shown in this pane and then click on the one that you would like to display in the main slide window in order to edit its content. You can also click and drag the pictures of the slides that are shown here to reorganize the sequence of slides shown in your presentation if desired.
At the bottom of the normal view is the notes page view, displayed within a pane that you can click into in order to type presenter's notes. In this pane you may add notes that you want the speaker to use during the presentation. Every slide in your presentation has a corresponding notes page. This allows you to associate extra information with the slide without having to display it on the actual slide in your presentation. You can even use the printed form of the note page view for audience handouts as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.